What up, NFT fam? Let's see what the news is today. First, let's start off with my project and my drawings that I made today. Um, this is Tuna. This is Rosé. <clears throat> this is Community. And this is Rise Above. I saw this retweet from Gary V. He said, it's so awesome. This project is going to support children's art. Uh, it looks like Flower Girls NFT made it onto the cover of Time Magazine, a project that aims to support children offline and online and offline, which is really sweet. So that's a nice utility that they have. Um, something I've never seen before, right? A, a project that supports children's art. So they're kind of the leader in that. Um, another huge sale for Desperate Ape Wives. I saw this as a Mori retweet. It just looks like such a cute sweatshirt. Like I love the Mori face. It's adorable. Um, so I have a feeling like I like... I'm pretty sure that Pepsi is one of the companies that Gary Vee works with in terms of like marketing because he's he mentioned that we should um, pay attention to Pepsi on his uh, channel or Twitter. What am I talking about? It's late. And then to, so I followed them. And then today I saw stay tuned for a Pepsi mic drop of epic proportions. You may want to turn on notifications. So I didn't actually know what Vayner N NFT was. I thought it was like maybe a news channel or something. So Vayner NFT helps companies get into the NFT space. So I think that's why Budweiser has it. Now it's Pepsi. Um, you know, so very interesting. So a lot of big companies are going to be dropping their NFTs. And so I turned on notifications for Pepsi because I, pe I think Pepsi is going to be next, whether it's a PO app or it's going to be, a um, whatchamacallit, an NFT. I'm expecting something from them next. Um, this was kind of funny. It says the most ambitious crossover event in NFT history re between Roboto's, Crypto Mori's and Doodles. So it's a Roboto head with like a doodle's face and then a crypto mori body <laughs> like very interesting and then this is kind of new doodles doodle mori's so another doodle derivative but this time it's mori's so this is the second derivative project i've seen of mori's so kind of tells me that mori's are popular i just wish that the floor price for the mori's would go up uh, more crypto mori's where are we now we are at looks like 0.4 Point three nine nine, and then it goes four, four one, four two, four three, four four, four five. So pretty quick jump, pretty soon. So that's exciting for the Moris. These were some um, other NFTs I did later today. This is a flower popping a hope balloon. Um, this is sad, and this is what is this? I can't remember together or something like that, or. Mm, I can't remember what I named it, but oh, it's flowers with benefits. <laughs> okay, so this was a new um, channel that 1:37 p.m. created today. It's called Proper Football, Proper Football 137. So today, as we were chasing the POAP, thankfully I got one today. Um, we had to follow them and turn on notifications, and then there was a later drop of more POAPs for anybody that missed the first drop, and that was on this channel. So at eight hours ago, that was like three o'clock. They said, stay tuned on here. If you didn't receive your PO app, another 1000 will be dropping again. Stay tuned and keep those eyes peeled. So I have them on notifications as well now. Um, so I also alerted everyone who missed it so that they know there's the anonymous guild meme contest. If you want to participate. Um, oh, this was in the discord earlier the 1 37 p.m discord get in there if you're interested in the 1 37 p.m po apps because a lot of like hints and stuff are dropped in there i usually spend my mornings in there um so th they had a space <clears throat> in the little you know event channel that you can listen to so that's where they put the they they said the po app word this morning and it was something like um i don't remember the something park I don't remember, but it was like the first letter of each word was capital. So yeah, they did in here. Um, so this was early in the morning. They said day eight of 25 days of POA, probably a good idea to follow, you know, the proper football 137 and be in our discord. So they always drop hints in the morning. So I try to pay attention to I have notifications for everything so that I know what's going on. 
this was like an earlier 1.37 p.m. drop that I listened to, but it did not have the PO app in it. So that was just, you know, some stuff going on. What is this? Why did I retweet this? Oh, I think it was, I was retweeting this. This is the same thing that they were like going live at 1.15 p.m. And I was like, oh, this is probably where the PO app is going to drop. It's the same like football stuff. Um... So this was on my project. I decided to list two of my pieces for 28 ETH because I had that dream where I woke up where in my dream I had 28 ETH and I listed one for 40 because I've seen so many sales for 40 ETH from these big like um, whale NFT whales where I'm just like, if it's happening for other people, it can happen for me too, but I have to create the perfect situation for it to happen. So these are the listings here. Um, I said, just uploaded these new NFTs to my collection. I listed some of them for 28 ETH and 40 ETH because you never know when you'll get lucky and people respect high value. Don't be afraid to dream. So that was kind of my little inspirational thing today. This was really funny because in the 1.37 PM discord, you're allowed to post your work. So I posted mine in that channel and somebody was like, Hey, I think your marriage piece should, should actually be called divorce. And it's like, yes, I totally agree. It's like meant to be to showcase sadness here. But at the same time, it's also showing my viewpoint of what I feel about relationships and marriage and commitment, that it's hopeless and unbalanced. So I would love for someone to prove me wrong. But for now, it seems like every marriage, it's just like one person is actually very sad. <laughs> so that I'm just kind of portraying my my view of the world. Um but I also have another one, which is happily married, where they're just happy. So it's kind of, I've got both perspectives. I thought this was funny. It actually made me laugh. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. And all the PO apps are there. It's just so funny. So I copied this from the Discord where he was like, will you make it to today's stage, 2.15 Eastern Standard Time? So that's exactly when they had the stage event and they gave the, the PO app, I think it like, I think it was 2.30. I was just like listening to it out loud. Um, this was also so cool. So I saw the Gary V DNA with Mumbot and she actually had a space this morning. And as I'm drinking my coffee, like I'm just listening and I like got up on stage and I was like, Mumbot, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking to you right now. Like, do you have any advice for one of one artists? And she was just talking about how like, you know, you just got to put yourself out there. And she was in a bunch of different communities early on in March. So she got in in March too. And like, I was there in March. So it gave me so much inspiration and you, just doing the grind, grind, grind. And fr so, so from March and then Gary V discovered her in September. So I got to put my months in of work, you know, and like get, get a community around me and um, eventually like something will happen too. And today Gary V had a video where he was like, ask me a question. And I was like, Hey, how can I, you know, I like filmed my project. I was like, I have a big social media platform on TikTok. Like I have this NFT project. Like how can I get this off the floor? I'm really excited for any type of inspiration or help or whatever. So I'm excited for him to possibly look at that and give me some advice. And while I was in the space, this guy, I don't remember his name here, the question mark, his NFTs are just pictures of food. And do you know why? It's because he's a chef and he has a restaurant that was hit really hard by the pandemic. So he was like, "Our food is art. So he takes pictures of the food he makes in hopes that the people that buy his NFT are actually supporting his restaurant. And I was like, oh my God, I love this idea. You know, and he could have some unlockable like recipe content too. Like it's just genius because I love food and I love restaurants and I love that like you could buy your favorite dish. You know what I'm saying? From a restaurant. Like, oh, what a genius freaking man, genius idea and a great way to support your favorite restaurant. So I could definitely see a lot of restaurants that are famous or, you know, like have a big following doing an NFT project. Why the hell not? Because like, if you like the food, why the hell not? The thing that I hate about restaurants, honestly, is that the waiters make money because like, I think the cooks should make money because I like the food and I like that they're making the food and I have like restaurant experience on both sides, front house and back of house. And it's like back of house just fucking works so much harder. I'm sorry. And you know, it's just like, 
I just don't believe in the idea of like tipping somebody who's just like bringing food out to your table. I re really don't. I believe in the people that are like standing there and like cutting shit up and like not allowed to eat anything in the back. Like it's so fucked up in the back. It really is. <laughs> so if I had a restaurant, which I one day want to have, and yes, there will be no tip tipping of the waiters, but there will be tipping of the back of the house, or maybe not. I just, I want to have this crazy fucking restaurant where like everybody makes so much fucking money and I have to be really, really rich to do it. And it's probably going to be like a pasta place. But anyway, um, I'll probably have restaurant NFTs. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't know. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like bringing my food out and I'm paying you, but the guy that cooked it is making fucking $15 an hour, like garbage wage. Like, I'm sorry. No, it just doesn't make sense. Like pay the waiters 15 bucks an hour and pay back of house more. Like there's more than enough money. I'm just rambling on. There's more than enough money in the restaurant industry to fucking pay people. Anyway. Um, if you are a collector of wavelength, you now have full IP rights. You can do whatever the heck you want. You want to sell prints of your piece. You can, you want to sell the image to Amazon for a billion dollars. You can, there are zero restrictions for collectors. You have full unlimited rights. So that was really cool for anyone that has wavelength. Um, so the other day I, I got to remember what happened, but like open C they were planning. I remember now they were planning to have, um, to come out as an IP, like, um, initial offering, right? Is it I offering? Yeah. Public offering. There we go. Public offering. And the whole community went nuts because they were like, you know, they're remembering how ENS, the one, you know, where it's like dot ETH or whatever, that company, how they gave tokens to everybody, like all these people in the community are like, where the fuck are my tokens? Why you guys have so much money? Why are you going to make it a public public offering where you're just getting more and more funding and you're not giving back anything to the community. So everyone went nuts. So this meme is just funny. And like, look at the crypto mores. They're still not verified. So in this, it says, you know, they don't even have proper community service. What the fuck do you mean by community? So it's just like a total rip open sea a short story. So if you want to watch this, you can watch it. But a lot of people are complaining. This is the second, um, crypto or at the first that I've seen so far. So the, uh, the doodle Maury's are the second I've seen. So this one, it's called the Maury show. So he draws like Maury's like, I like this one. It's like a glass Maury with sharks in it. And like one guy's trying to get out, like, it's very, very cute. Um, so he just kind of gets inspired and like draws different versions of Maury's. So check it out if you're interested in that. Um, Ape kids club community feels a lot like the OG days of board API club love where we are headed friends, buckle up. So Ape Kids Club, I'm really kicking myself for not getting involved in this project, but all my liquidity is tied up in, where is this? Ape Kids Club, there. All my liquidity is tied up and like, I just couldn't and now it's at 1.3 ETH, so I'm really kicking myself. Um, they are also now on Nifty Gateway, so really super cool opportunity over there. Um, we are ecstatic. Oh, so get this, Stack Toads, which is just some random toad project, right? They usually get their, they usually take their funding and buy other projects. So I thought it was so funny that they they bought twelve Crypto Moris. I think like, you know, there like there were a bunch of these projects that would buy like cool cats, they would buy like cryptodes, they would buy this, that, the other thing in the Dow, you know, so it was so funny. This one bought Crypto Mori. So it's very, very interesting. Let's see what prices they bought it at. 0 0.55, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, one ETH. So they kind of swept the floor, which is really cool. Um, so that's interesting. They were supporting us. So they're trying to get support too. Um, I also saw this croaks. It, it looks like, you know, more realistic, but it's still a frog project. So I was like, oh my God, are the, are frogs back? Like frogs have not been back for a while, but this is coming out December 11th. So we'll see who's interested in realistic frogs. I think the frog movement is kind of over. But, you know, we'll see what the market says. And that's pretty much it for today. Let me see if there's anything in my tweets and replies that I have forgotten about. Um, doesn't look 
like so. So that's it. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment, um, subscribe and like the video and I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you have a good night. Bye.